Hello there and welcome to this last program of the year 2022. I know you are busy preparing to usher in the new year. 2022 has been amazing and we dedicate this show to the Kenya Airlift program that we've been serializing since the year 2020. I met Bob Mwiti, the man behind the program, three years ago in Florida when he was just beginning at that time he had only one student in the US. Today, we are talking about well over 180 students. That is 180 students who have relocated to the US for master's programs. Bosco Kariuki from the slopes of Mount Kenya is one of the latest beneficiaries and is the one we are featuring in this last show of the year. Also on the show, out and about at Mount Kenya Safari Club as the tourism sector bounces back and we will wind up the show with the recent cultural festivities in Vihiga County featuring Maragoli, Banyore, Tiriki and Terik communities. Great, quite a rich show and we begin with Bosco Karaoke from the slopes of Mount Kenya who is now in the US courtesy Kenya Airlift Program. Joy and excitement. Quite emotional for Bosco Kariuki and his family as they gather at the family home in Gaidedia village, Abogeta Westward, South Imenti constituency, Meru County. You see, Bosco is about to do the unimaginable. He is days away from being the first in his family to dare abroad in pursuit of a Master's of Science in Financial Economics at Illinois State University. The celebrations are infectious. Born and raised in Meru County, Bosco always dreamt of studying abroad, a dream that he has been faithful to, given his impressive academic performance over the years. In KCP, I scored 389 marks. I was very happy. Actually, I was the best in our, in our constituency. I later joined the Meru School in 2009, and in 2012, I completed KCSE and scored a B+. I joined uh, Machakos University in 2013 and I studied Bachelor of Commerce and specialized in finance. Graduated in 2017 with a first class honors. What's the secret to get a first class honors? Not many people get first class. Actually, it's a journey of resilience. You're supposed to be a hardworking person and uh, more so fear God, involve God in everything that you do. When you study abroad, you get exposure, you interact with various people, and they help you even in terms of thinking and other developments. I'm very, very excited going to pursue my master's in the US. I can't wait for the day. Sentiments that are shared by his parents. I can see there is right. I can see there is right. Mambo mingi itabandrika kwa sababu I can see kwanza usa kama hapa naona kama mimi mwenyewe atakuja kutuinua tutoke hapa unaona vile situation ya kuingia hapa vile tuko na stress kubwa Siku hii leo nimefurahia sana kwa vile Mbusko amefaulu na masomo yake na sasa anaenda ngambo because sio wengi wanaweza e, na mimi kulingana na vile tumengangana kama familia naona kama ni Mungu ametrundishia Actually, so how exactly did Bosco get this opportunity? The program is called the Kenya Yalif. There is a circle for us. You just pay your escrow amount of a thousand dollars, and then from there you just uh, enroll. You are given some study materials called a GMAT. That is uh, the graduate management admission test. is there to assist you to get an um, admission in the U.S. for the masters. Yes, through the Kenya Airlift program, an initiative by US-based IT consultant Bob Mwiti 
in partnership with the MCA for Abogeta West Ward in Meru County, Dennis Kiogora, Kenyan students seeking to pursue master's programs in the U.S. are provided with the much-needed assistance with regards to enrollment, visa application, and funding. It's not really just a matter of taking students to the U.S. For us, there's more to that because having been to the U.S. as an international student, there are challenges that I faced personally. You know, I walked that journey that we tried to take our students through. You know, issues to do with, you know, getting funding, you know, how to figure out how to get there. Issues to do with now, once you're there, how do you fund your education? Because, you know, U.S. is very expensive when it comes to tuition and living expenses for students. So our program to the outside world, it might look like it's just a program that takes students to go and study in the U.S. But actually there's way much more than that because we are trying to solve three things. One, the issue of funding. Two, the issue of uh, good jobs in corporate America read the issue of immigration papers. You're born into a, con or into a family or into a country out of luck. And then you as yourself get to make an individual, about, an individual decision about where you want to go and what you want to do. And that should be your opportunity to do that. And that's what we provide, that opportunity to build your dreams and to go anywhere in the world, whether it's the US or whether it's here in Kenya, you as the individual get to decide. And when it comes to placement, the program boasts of strong relationships with various academic institutions all over the U.S., the latest being Indiana University of Pennsylvania and Missouri State University, which enable students in the program to access scholarships. You're watching Success with Bob Mwiti Show presented to you by Upstack America. Upstack America is a consulting company that helps immigrants find amazing higher education and job opportunities in the tech industry in the United States. You can find our programs by going to www.upstackamerica.com. Upstack America, we wake you up to the unlimited potential within you. Bosco's story is very tantalizing because of how he has struggled. If you know where Bosco went to primary school, you can't go that journey. It's like five kilometers uh, to go to primary school. He passed the exams, he went through it all. And I'm so happy that he joined the ALF program. And the story of Bosco is so unique because as a pioneer, as a, one of the co-founders of the Kenya ALF program, he is the first student from my ward. In addition to this, the Kenya Airlift program has partnerships with various companies and institutions making the process of studying in the U.S. easier. This includes Kenya Commercial Bank as well as Qatar Airways, which is the official airline of the program. I wish to also thank uh, the co-founders, that is uh, DMK and uh, Bob, for allowing us to partner with the Kenya Airlift program. Yeah? We came in in June, and uh, since then we've walked the journey together. As KCB to Nasema Asante. Each year, the U.S. receives an average of 1 million international students. Currently, the Kenya Airlift program has about 1,500 members from all over the country, with over 180 already in the U.S., this is the vehicle that enabled Bosco to achieve his dream. And to mark this good fortune, Bosco and his family head out for a Thanksgiving service at their home church. Fast forward to the D-Day, that is August 4th. With his bags packed and air ticket secured, Bosco shares one final meal with his friends and family in the village. His flight is set to depart in a couple of hours. We give you glory and honor. As you are starting the journey, we pray we start with you. Without delay, a prayer is made and the party makes their way to the car. Wow, Bosco! Wow! Salama! Congrats! From Meru, the caravan traverses through Embu, Makutano, Fika, before eventually arriving at Jomo Kenyatta International Airport in Nairobi. Bosco's flight departs at 10 p.m. East African time. 
His was an eight-hour flight to Frankfurt, Germany, which was followed by another eight-hour flight to New York, then two-hour flight to Chicago, and finally a two-hour road trip to Normal Town, Illinois. Bosco is set to finish his master's program in two years' time. He believes this will enable him to make an impact back home. I'm very sure when I just land there, I'm, I'm done with my master's. I'm uh, able to secure a good job. It is going to make a paradigm shift, not only to myself, to my family, but to the whole village. And uh, it's a prayer that I normally ask God to guide me step by step to help me remember where I come from and accord every assistant, whoever that would like my assistant. And talking of brain game, Bosco is grateful to the Kenya Airlift program and hopes to one day share his knowledge in assisting others follow his footsteps. My dream is I would like one day to be a lecturer. I will stop at nothing until I instill that basic thing into our universities. Where well, are you stopping then you come back and work in Kenya? Nowadays the world has become a global village. I can still lecture well in America and uh, still instill knowledge into the Kenyan students. We at Chums Media wish him well as he makes his dreams a reality. You've been watching Success with Bomweti Show brought to you by Upstake America. Come back next time to hear more steps and missteps that I took on the path to becoming a successful immigrant in USA. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn.